okay uh i meant to address <laughs> a few things that's how i know i'm not feeling good at all guys hey this is aep i did not mention that in my last post i just put up which um aep stands for authentic epic boob i hope you can understand me i won't hold you long i just got a couple of things in my mind that i wanted to say and i want to get you guys opinion i always want to hear how my beautiful faces aka epic boobers are feeling out there how do you feel about what's going on in the government you know there is uh going to be a temporary uh hold on um on um this you know everything going on with the government and the wall it's going to be a temporary hold for three weeks what can be really done in three weeks you know uh three weeks go by very fast uh, i feel like our days go by very fast and then with tax time coming up are people going to get the taxes on time you know for everybody that's you know told to go back to work that didn't receive pay well they get back pay for all those weeks that they've been out of work because you know if you think about it regardless of what 45 is saying we can just tell our bills you know what i mean um you know our bills are you know owner of the, our houses or if you have a mortgage or if you rent we can't just tell them hey our president said you should be able to be okay with this it doesn't work like that it's not logic that's not sensible that does not it's ludicrous it's not common sense there are things in life that are black and white but there's a gray area you know um I heard, I heard this one guy, I saw his uh, video go viral. He has a son, he's nine years old in school. He's been out of work for over a month or something without any pay. And his son came home and said, you know, daddy, I could do a one less milk at school, which is 55 cents. And he felt bad. He said, no, son, will be fine. He said, I hope I'm not lying to my son. I believe it was on CN, uh, CNN that I saw this. Don't quote me on that. But, you know, it, it affects people on different levels, whether you are for the government or not. It's a trickle-down effect, a domino effect of how many jobs are not, you know what I'm saying, people not getting paid, how many things that people need to do where they have to go to a government office and apply for something, how many things are being put on hold for families joining in loans from a house that they've been improved of to, you know, uh, anything else, applying for a job there or, you know, in the midst of uh, transitioning to a better position, just anything in general. I'm thinking about these things and how it affects us as people and how that big effect and everything he's doing from trying to send out boxes of food to people, which is not going to last, probably can stuff, stuff that they, the FDA is not really approving or really hasn't looked in thoroughly because there's too many things like lettuce and, you know, um, cake mixture and ground turkey and ground beef that we can't eat. Everything seems to be okay at one point and then you hear about a recall. So we have to be safe when it comes to our food. We have to have a livelihood to be able to survive. You know, um, 800,000 people plus is a lot to be, you know, telling them to go to work without getting paid. That's not logical before a wall you want up. Not that I say I don't, I don't agree with the wall because I absolutely do. But don't make us suffer for something you want. You know, you figure it out. You're the president. Don't take away from us because you're so narcissistic. You can't see by beyond what you want. You're putting us in a bad predicament. I don't remember um, President Obama doing that to us. I don't. Putting us in a bad predicament to where we, you know what I'm saying, going to work. People going to work and can't get paid. You know, um, whether it's TA, uh, TSA workers and et cetera. I feel bad for them. Whether it's the teachers, which I give kudos to them. They don't make a lot of money to babysit people's kids and try to educate them. And kids nowadays are different from when they've been back in the day or just in general. Because we're in a whole different time frame of technology and social media. We didn't have, if you're 41 like me or even 30 something, you know what I'm saying, or whatever the case may be, or older, you understand what I'm saying, so with that being said, drop me a line about how you feel, and so with this temporary, you know, uh, federal shutdown, temporary for three weeks, will it really do what it needs to do, when we need this all year long, we need this to function for people to have jobs and stability in an economy and how it affects people's pockets. Because when you get behind on bills, you get behind. You can only stretch them out for so long. Are they able to get another job until they get, you know what I'm saying, everything into play? Will it go, will it pass a year? Will it only be six months that this is happening? Because it's only a shutdown for three weeks. Let me know how you're feeling. Hopefully you can understand me and feel me and I'll be back to you soon. Love you.